guys in today's video I'm going to be sharing with you guys all about how I apply bronzer which products are my favorite how I use bronzer my application tools and all that jazz this video was requested a little bit by a couple of you guys in the video where I showcase one of my newest bronzers so if you would like to see a video all about bronzer please keep watching first things first I have a cough drop in my mouth you guys know I get sick very easily and I felt like I was coming on with a cold so I am soothing my throat right now so I hope that doesn't bother any of you guys but I wanted to come and bring this video to you guys because I showed my most recent bronzer purchase in a video maybe a week ago and it is the Fenty Beauty Bronzer and Caramel Cutie. Thank you to those of you who recommended that I probably would have liked a different shade of this bronzer. <laughs> Though I will not be purchasing this bronzer in a different shade, it is nice to know that um, there are other tones, I guess, that would work a little better for me. This does give me a nice look. It's just not my favorite. So in today's video, I'm going to be featuring my favorite bronzer, and that is the Guerlain Terracotta in the color 05. This is more of a red-toned, very warm bronzer, whereas the Fenty Beauty one is definitely more neutral. And I don't know if you guys can tell, maybe not, but in the summertime when I get a tan, I don't really have a tan yet, but when I get a tan, I get very red toned. I don't get neutral. I'm more neutral in the winter, but in the summertime, especially if I'm going on vacation a lot or spending a lot of time in the sun, I will get more red toned. So to play up that, I like using a bronzer that's a little more red toned. Uh, I also wanna say that bronzer is different than contour. contour is meant to give dimension and depth and to contour your face now I somewhat use a bronzer like contour as far as where I place it but if I were to use a contour I would want a shade that's a little more neutral or cool because those create shadows and give you depth and dimension in terms of the hollows in your face. I use my bronzer just to add warmth to my face. So if you look straight head on at my face right now, my face is quite circular. So for me, bronzer breaks up my cheeks and my jawline because from under my eyes to my jawline, that's where the bulk of my face is. So I like to use bronzer to kind of cut that up add some dimension, slim out my face a little bit, and also bring warmth to my face. Uh, and when I say warmth, I mean something that would mimic already having a tan. So you're gonna see at the beginning of this video, I look a lot lighter, I look a lot more one-dimensional than I'm going to look at the end of the video. Also, as far as tools go, this is my favorite bronzer brush right now. <sighs> I think this says MAC 138, 130 or 138. I purchased this brush over 10 years ago. I love it. It is a dome shape natural fiber fluffy brush. I also have another brush that I will use for bronzer. Sometimes I use it in the Fenty Beauty bronzer video. And this is my Sephora Collection Pro Angle Blush Brush number 49. You can use blush brushes for bronzer. I think it just depends on what type of look you're going for. As far as brushes are concerned, I would use something that is duo fiber or synthetic fiber like this and more stiff if I want a darker color payoff or if I'm going to contour my cheeks I will use something more natural such as natural fibers and more fluffy if I want something that's very natural to just make me look a little more defined so synthetic fibers are going to give you more striking details more striking pigmentation and natural fibers are going to be more subtle and natural that's kind of how it goes First, let me finish this cough drop so it doesn't annoy you guys. It's so good. It's um, Ricola Limoncello Lemon Mint Cough Drop. Mm! I got them from my mother. We went to dinner the other night and she walked in with a bag and it was like a light shining down on me from heaven. I love these, they're so good. Okay. So, like I said, my face is very round, as you can see. So, for bronzer, I like applying my bronzer in the number three and the letter E. Meaning, I'm going to apply bronzer from my forehead down to my temple and under my cheek and on my jawline. 
forehead down to my temple under my cheek and to my jawline i also like to apply bronzer right across the bridge of my nose because it helps to just bring the look together and make the bronzer look more cohesive and it just adds a nice sun-kissed effect because if you were to be excuse me if you were to be outside in the sun your nose is going to get tanned it usually sticks out the furthest on your face and so that area is going to get tanned so I'm just going to show you guys how I apply my bronzer and you guys know that I love bronzer it is probably my favorite part of makeup application I think it just brings the look together very nicely and it just I don't know it makes me look like I'm sun-kissed and who doesn't want to look sun-kissed I mean I know some people don't but I do okay so I'm going to take my fluffy brush and I'm just basically patting it on there until I get about that much color pigmentation on my brush I tap off the excess so that it's not too much that's still what it looks like and I start on my cheeks I place it on a diagonal going from about right here to my ear line and already you can tell that's just created a little bit of warmth I'm gonna go back in with some more color I like to concentrate it right here at my temples because that is where uh, the line of my concealer stops and I like to make sure that's blended in. I'm going to take it across my forehead. So once again, we have our three and I'm going to bring it down to my jawline. Now I like swirling it in circles on my jawline and I like bronzing my jawline because it helps to conceal any little bit of a double chin you know your girl is still fluffy she is she's doing great on her weight loss but you know it is what it is some of us have double chins i don't know <laughs> so i like to swirl that in circles and i also bronze my chin because i find that sometimes my foundation and concealer combined just look a little too light so i do like to bronze my chin so i don't know if you can tell the difference between this side of my face which has a little more of a healthy glow by the way this product also has some very very tiny uh flecks of shimmer so it gives you a natural glow and it really just helps your skin look healthy and sun-kissed and then this side of my face which is a little more stark it just has bron no it just has foundation concealer and loose setting powder so this side i look a lot more healthy and glowy and this side is more flat so i'm going to do the same on this side i always start with my cheeks and another reason why I love wearing bronzer is because if you want to do just a very simple makeup look, maybe you just want to bring a couple of products with you, wear bronzer on your cheeks as a blush. It looks fine. That way you don't have to bring a ton of product and you still get color if you pick the right tone. Now, if you pick a bronzer that is more neutral, like the Fenty one, you might not want to put that all over your cheek or wear it up so high on your cheek because it's going to create a shadow and you don't want a shadow all over your cheek. Once again, I'm hitting my jawline, my chin, and my forehead. I don't necessarily go in any order. It's kind of just whatever happens, happens. I always hit my temple area. And I do my forehead. I do have a large forehead. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go across the bridge of my nose. And there we go. It doesn't give you a lot of color when you do it across the bridge of your nose. But it just wakes your nose up and helps you look very, very sun-kissed. So, can you guys see a difference from how I looked at the beginning of the video? It's very, very subtle. My face is just a little more warm. And this is the look that I like to give in the summertime. I, wa I always want to look bronzy because when I'm not wearing makeup, I don't have any warmth to my face. I am very neutral toned. Uh, but I like the look of bronzer. I think it just awakens my face. And especially the Guerlain bronzer because it has a uh, natural flex of a little bit of shimmer it just looks so healthy like how pretty is that now I also want to show you what can happen if you want to use a more stiff synthetic brush synthetic uh, bristles tend to be more stiff because they're not natural they're synthetic uh, so I use this for more precision and application so I'm just gonna tap that in my bronzer tap it off on my wrist 
and I'm going to apply this nearest my hairline. You see how applying just a little more provides a little more depth on that side and I would say doing more of that gives you more of a contour look. Because I would say using this type of brush and applying your bronzer just right there in that hollow definitely is kind of like contouring your face. But I just like the look of bronzer more. Um, I don't really use contour anymore. I just use lots of bronzer. So this is what we're giving right now. Chiseled face, nice healthy glow. My skin just looks natural you can definitely tell i have on makeup but it's still very natural and you just look sun-kissed so that is why i love a good bronzer so this will always be my favorite bronzer it is a bit pricey i believe it's maybe 50 to 55 dollars but honestly one of these can last a full year and this was actually gifted by one of my dear friends from youtube she was just so sweet to send this to me um and i love it it also smells a little bit so if you are turned off by a little bit of scent in your uh cosmetics you might want to steer clear of this it's nothing offensive that lingers on your face but you can definitely smell it when you are applying okay so i just went ahead and put on a little bit of blush and highlighter to bring more color to my face but i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't know if i've ever done a video all about bronzer but i'm glad that some of you requested it because it is one of my favorite things to do as far as makeup you guys know I'm trying to get more into eyeshadow but if you ever see me out and I have on a face bronzer will definitely be applied it just wakes you up it gives you a healthy glow uh, just be mindful of the shades you're going for I like to go for a more orange tone bronzer just because I like to look a little more warm but you can go for any shade that you would like another bronzer that I have tried in the past that I used to be in love with is the makeup forever pro bronze fusion in color 35 l i believe for luminous so it had a little bit of shimmer a little bit of shimmer in there as well so just check out some different suggestions as far as bronzers there are also some good drugstore variations i know that the covergirl queen collection bronzer is really nice for women and men of color i can never get my hands on it in store so i have yet to try it but that's one that was always on my list but my girl line is just my holy grail so yeah if you guys have any comments or questions please feel free to leave them down below i will leave all the products that i use in this video down below as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye